Good afternoon everybody, thank you for your attendance here today, it's really very good to see Simone for turning up here, it's very gratifying. We come together this afternoon following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe, as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of Shetland of the beginning of our new king's reign. I will now ask the convener of Shetland Islands Council, Andrea Manson, to deliver the proclamation to the Shetland community. In an age where modern methods of communication convey news around the globe in an instant, the proclamation is no longer the means by which people learn for the first time that they have a new monarch. Today, however, is one of the first occasions when communities have an opportunity to come together and reflect on the moment in our nation's history when the reign of our longest serving monarch came to an end and our new sovereign succeeded. The proclamation of the new sovereign is a very old tradition which can be traced back over many centuries. The ceremony does not create a new king. It is simply an announcement of the accession which took place immediately on the death of the reigning monarch. Yesterday, the accession council met at St James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags which had flown at half-mast since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The Accession Council also made an order requiring High Sheriffs to cause the proclamation to be read in the areas of their jurisdiction. The Sheriff Principal of Grampian, Highlands and Islands discharged that duty earlier today and now, with my humble duty, I bring the words of the proclamation to the residents of Shetland. Ladies and gentlemen, the proclamation of the accession. Whereas it is pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lord spiritual and temporal of this realm, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of His Late Majesty's, sorry, Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London, and others, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late Sovereign of Happy Memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege, Lord Charles V. By the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God by whom kings and queens do reign to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022. God save the king. God save the king.
Yeah, they wait for the paper like this to be a little bit too far, don't they? 